one. So there it is. All right, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Well, I'll wait another minute. But you can go ahead and get to your mat if you're not there. I see Maria. Good. All right, wonderful. We'll go ahead and just start. That's 12 on the nose. So come to your mat and get into your child's pose. I am gonna do the same. So in your child's pose, your big toes touch, your knees go wide. Hi, Kristen, excellent. So knees wide and just let your upper body come right down in between onto the mat, forehead touches, not too much activity going on in this child's pose. I'll set you up a little bit in more of a active child's pose. So let's just relax here for a moment, connect with the mat, connect with the earth, whatever you may have already had going on today. Let's just release it out. Bring your mind to your body. Feel the points of the body that are touching the floor. Just feel those. Maybe you notice if the hips are tight, if the shoulders as the arms stretch, if they are tight. If you find the knees are a little stiff, everything that's going on in the world right now does absolutely have an effect on how our body feels. If we're in the house more, if because we aren't allowed to go to work, we're maybe in the yard more, maybe we're doing activities that we weren't doing, maybe we're eating things that we would normally do, be doing, drinking more, whether it be alcohol, maybe less water, all of the things they like to settle right into the body. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose slowly and long. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth or the nose. It really doesn't matter. Just let it go out slowly and release. Another inhale through the nose really slow, dragging the breath into the nose, through the back of the throat, beginning to expand the lungs a little more, and then exhale, go ahead, let it release. Again, inhaling through the nose, maybe a little deeper, maybe a little slower, maybe more expansion through both sides of the body. Opening the lungs, and let's let it release. So now what I'd like you to do is just bring the hands in just a little bit, lift the upper body up. I want you to put a little bit of a tilt in the pelvis. So hips go up more. And as you release the upper body onto your mat, lengthen more the spine, the arms stretch forward. You're creating more space and more length through your back, opening the hips more and connecting the body with the breath, creating space. So tilting the pelvis up, hips go back to your heels and arms stretch long. So we'll begin a little more activity here in this child's pose. So belly in, bring your palms really wide and flat onto your mat. Walk the fingertips forward with the resistance of the mat, allowing the shoulder blades so lengthen forward and let the hips come back. Your forehead still relaxed on the mat, opening the shoulders and the upper back, but inhale through the nose. With more awareness this time, stretching through both sides of the body, expanding the rib cage, and exhale, release. Find more space in the hips, hips to the heels, and fingertips stretch forward. Let's do it again, inhale through the nose. Expand through both sides of the body. Breathe into the low back. Exhale, let the hips relax. Fingertips stretch. Maybe the armpits rounding more towards the face. Opening up the upper back, releasing the shoulders. Let's inhale through the nose. 
Each inhale deeper. Maybe that rises you off of the hips, the heels a little bit, and that's okay. Extend the spine, the arms stretch forward. Exhale, hips back to heels. Let's do one more just like that. Settle into those hips. Inhale, deep inhale through the nose. Again, the body opens with the inhale, so breathe it in. And exhale, release hips to heels, create more space through the whole body, fingertips to hips, and release. We're gonna take the hands now, walk over to the right side of your mat. You can even walk beyond the right side of your mat. Using the resistance of the mat or the floor with the left fingertips as you walk all the way over to the right, maybe the left hip comes up, hold on to the floor, and then release that hip back down. Stretching through the left side body, creating space through the rib cage, through the shoulders. Inhale, deep inhale through the nose. Breathe the air into the left side body. Exhale, hip goes closer to the heel and release. One more. Deep inhale, spread the rib cage wide. Breathe into that left hip. As you exhale, hip to heel and relax. We're gonna walk back forward to the center of the mat. Stop in the center. And again, walk your hands forward. One deep inhale, breathe into that low back and into the hips. Exhale, hips to heels, fingertips stretch forward. And then we'll walk all the way over to the left. Doing the same thing here on this side. Use your right fingertips, resistance, walking all the way, maybe even beyond the mat. Maybe it brings the right hip up. Take a deep breath, inhale. And then exhale, let the right hip come back to your heel. Right fingertips stretch more over to the left and release. Again, deep inhale through the right side body, breathing into the rib cage, expanding the rib cage, bring into that right hip. And on your exhale, hip goes to your heel and release. We're gonna do that one more time. Deep inhale, last one. Stretch to the right side body. Find the most expansion you can as you exhale, hip to heel. And let's walk back to center. One final deep inhale here. Inhale, lengthen forward. And bring those hips back. Let's go ahead and walk the hands up. We'll come to our tabletop position. We're going to go ahead though, round the toes, press into your first down dog. So hips rise high. Check in with yourself. Hips high, palms on the floor and start paddling the feet, bending one knee at a time. And again, awareness in the body. So here we're not in the studio, we're not in the heat, and we don't have the music. So really tap in to the mind and the body, more awareness in how you feel. And let's relax now. Palms wide open, really press the floor away from you. Lengthen out of the shoulders and try to press the hips up and back more. Let's just gently bring the gaze forward. We're gonna walk all the way to the top of the mat and just fold. So with a slight bend of the knees, upper body just lengthens down towards the floor. Try to let the head be super heavy, shoulders heavy. For just a moment here, feel your feet grounded onto your mat and just a little rock forward, bring the weight into your toes and feel what that does to the backside of the legs. And let's go back to the heels and bring the weight into your heels. Maybe the toes come off the mat just a little bit. And then more to the toes. And then back to your heels. Now connect both the pad of the foot to the heel, relax your toes slowly. We're just gonna roll all the way up. Ragdoll yourself up, pulling the belly in, pushing the pubic bone a little forward, slowly stacking the spine, shoulders over hips, 
and then your head comes up last. Let's go ahead and bring the toes and heels to touch. Hands to the center of your chest. Inhale, bring your arms out and wide. Stretch up, pull the pubic bone forward, lengthen the fingertips to the ceiling, bend the knees, exhale, fold. Lift the flat back, just getting started. Let's inhale, halfway, flat back, and exhale, fold. We're coming back up with the hands. Inhale, arms all the way up. Open those palms, fingertips stretch up, pubic bone a little forward, bend the knees, exhale, fold. Again, lengthen halfway flat back, lengthen through the crown of your head, shoulders away from your ears, exhale, fold. Inhale, arms all the way back up. Pubic bone tilts forward, fingertips up, exhale, bend the knees, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, arms all the way back up. We're going to do it twice more. Stretch up, bend the knees, exhale, fold as you fold forward. Bring that way back forward to your toes. Inhale, make them halfway flat back. Wait a little forward to the toes. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms all the way up, weight in the heels. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Last one. Inhale, lengthen, more weight in the toes, stretch the crown of the head forward, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, weight in the heels, inhale, arms all the way back up, stretch up. Bend the knees, weight in the heels, exhale, chaturanga. So here, I mean, sorry, um, chair, weight in your heels. Hips go back and chest up. Hold it here, pull that belly in. Lengthen through the crown of your head, so your hips are a little bit more tilted forward with that pelvis, creating space through the low spine as the crown of the head stretches up. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Keep the bend in the knees. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, weight in the heels, back to chair. Inhale, arms up. So now think about that low back, releasing it by pulling the pubic bone a little bit forward. So it's a little bit posterior tilt, Pubic bone forward towards the knees a little bit. More weight in the heels and chest up. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, fold. Okay, hold it. We're doing it one more time. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, weight in the heels. Inhale, arms up. So sink deeper every time. Weight in the heels. Again, traction that low back by pulling the pubic bone a little bit forward. Lengthen through the crown of the head, keep the shoulders relaxed, and bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, arms all the way back up, spread those fingers wide, pull the pubic bone forward, stretch up, palms together, hands to heart center, and release. Let's continue. Inhale, arms out and wide, bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant your palms. Let's step back, right foot, high lunge. So stay here, grounded hands. Back foot, high on the toes, right thigh contracted. Hold it here. We're going to go back into a high plank. Left leg goes back to meet right. Stay here, high plank. Shoulders over wrist. Again, pubic bone a little bit tilted towards the mat. Make sure your thighs are contracted. Come to your knees if you need to. We're going through a chaturanga here. Shift forward to toes, bend elbows, slowly lower down. All the way to the mat, belly touches. We're just gonna to go to a cobra here. Squeeze those elbows in and lift up, chest up, and shoulders down. Let's round the toes, press to your down dog. Hips high. Try now to press more heels towards the mat and stretch out of your shoulders. Belly in. We're just gonna walk all the way to the top of the mat. And again, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, inhale, chair. Weight in the heels. Pubic bone a little forward as you're creating space, lengthen that low back. Stretching through the crown of the head, sit back more, and fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, weight in the heels, inhale, chair. We're doing three, so here's two, weight in your heels, chest up. Keep that belly in. 
Bend the knees and fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Last one, bend the knees, weight in the heels. Inhale, arms up. More weight in the heels. A little bit more pubic bone forward. Chest up, spine stretches. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Exhale, fold, inhale, arms all the way back up. We meet at the top, stretch up, lengthen through your spine, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Exhale, palm the floor. Now left leg steps back. Stay here, high lunge, ground those hands. We stay here with the hands. High on the back toes, make sure your left thigh is super tight and contracted. Keep the belly in, lengthen through the crown of your head. Let's bring right foot back to meet left, high plank. Belly in. Shoulders away from your ears. Come to your knees for your chaturanga, or just shift forward and slowly all the way down. Let's go ahead here, press up to your up dog. Palms in the floor, shoulders down, chest up. And to your down dog. Hips go back. Belly in, right on the shoulders. Let's let the right leg stretch it up and back. We're going to look all the way forward. Step forward into your crescent, arms up. Stay here, back thigh super tight and contracted. So we're going to take a few pulses here with that back knee. You can always come to the knee if you need to, but we're going to do this five times. Just bend the back knee. Barely tap the floor and come up. And two down. Lift up. Make sure your left thigh is contracted. Three down. Four down. Five down. Up, hold it. And let's open warrior two. So we're warrior two, right arms in front. Bend your right knee. Chest lifted. Sink low into that front knee. We're coming all the way down, back to your high plank, inhale, crescent, I mean, sorry, high lunge, inhale, crescent, arms up. We're gonna do a small twist here, palms together, hands to heart center, left twist right, elbow to knee. So pull the belly in, back leg is solid, palms together, and look up. Come back to center, palms down, left foot steps to meet right, inhale, lengthen halfway flat back, exhale, fold, inhale, arms all the way up. Bend your knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back, bend the knees, sink weight in the heels, inhale, chair. Sink low, for doing three of these. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Exhale, fold, weight in the heels. Inhale, chair. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Exhale, fold, bend the knees. Inhale, last one, chair. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Exhale, fold, arms all the way back up. Stretch up, bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold, let's step back, left foot. Inhale, crescent. Oh, right foot, forgive me. Crescent with the left foot in front now. Right foot steps back. Hold it. We're going to tap with that right knee. Down and up. Going for five. Two and down. Three, down. Four and down. Let's go five down. Hold it. And let's open warrior two. Sink deeper into that front leg, chest stays up. 
Let's go back to our crescent, arms up, hands together, hands to heart center, and we twist left, right elbow to knee. High on the back toes, look to the ceiling. Let's go back to center. Both hands down, left foot meets the right. We're in our high plank. And exhale, chaturanga slowly all the way down. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Stretch more hips back. Heels closer to the floor. Belly in. Stretch out of your shoulder blades. Inhale, left leg stretches up and back. Lengthen. Left leg steps all the way to the top. Right foot to meet it. Bend the knees. Inhale, chair. We do three. Weight in the heels. Chest up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, weight in the heels. Inhale, chair. Every time, more weight in the heels, more hips down. Again, view the phone a little bit forward toward the knees and chest up. Lengthen that spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Last one, belly in. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, arms all the way up. Stretch up, palms together, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms out and wide. All the time, bringing in that energy around you. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Palms down, right foot steps back. Left foot steps back, meet in your high plank. Go slowly through your vinyasa. Chaturanga slow all the way down. Up dog and down dog. Right leg stretches up and back. Look forward, step forward, crescent, inhale, arms up. You can always come to the knee if you need to here. We're going to stay here. We're pulsing that left knee for five. Come down one, two, three, four, down five. Lift up, belly in, palms together, hands to heart center, and let's twist right. Left elbow to knee. Create space all the way from your coccyx to the crown of your head, belly in. Let's come back to center and open warrior two. Let's reverse the warrior here. Slide your left hand down the back leg. Stretch the fingertips to the wall behind you. Seat more in that front knee. Right rib cage wraps back. Left rib cage wraps forward. Look more to the ceiling. Sink deeper. Breathe. And back to warrior two. And come all the way down. Back to your high plank. Go through your vinyasa. And lead in down dog. Left leg stretches back and up. Look forward, step all the way forward for your high lunge. Inhale, arms up, crescent, hold it here. Right thigh super contracted. High on those back toes. You look good. We're tapping down for five. Bend your right knee for one. Tap two. Tap three. Tap four. One more, down in five. Come up, make sure that right thigh's solid. Palms together, hands to heart center, and let's twist left. Look to the ceiling. High on those back toes. Let's come back to center, we open warrior two. Left hands in front, left knee bends forward. Chest stays lifted. Let's reverse the warrior. Right hand slides down the back leg. Left fingertips stretch behind you. Sink deeply into that right knee. Now your left rib, your left knee, your left rib cage is rounding back. Your right rib cage scoops forward. 
Keep your belly in, look to the ceiling. And let's go back to warrior two. Rounding all the way down. Go back through vinyasa, high plank. Slowly chaturanga all the way down. Up dog, down dog. We're walking to the top of your mat. Toes and heels touch. Bend those knees. Weight in the heels. Inhale, chair. We have three. Sink deep low. Pubic bone a little forward. Chest up. Bend the knees fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Bend the knees fold. Weight in your heels. Inhale, arms up, chair. More weight in the heels. More pubic bone forward, more chest stop. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. One more, inhale, lift it halfway. Exhale, fold, weight in the heels. Inhale, arms up. Take those hips. And fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, inhale, arms out and wide. All the way back up, pubic bone pulls forward, stretch up, palms together, and hands to heart center. Awesome, we're moving on. Guys, take a sip of water when you need it. Toes and heels touch. Inhale, arms out and wide. Stretch up. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant your palms. Left foot steps back, high lunge. Inhale, crescent. We're tapping for five, left knee down, and two, down and three, and four, down and five, come up here, make sure your solid back leg, forward on those toes, palms together, hands to heart center, let's twist right, elbows knee, look to the ceiling. Back to center, we open warrior two. Sink deep into that knee, chest up. Again, pubic bone a little forward here. We're opening the hips. Let's reverse the warrior. Left hand can slide down the leg or wrap around the low back, grabbing the right inner thigh. Sink deep, hips stay forward. Right shoulder rounds behind you. And let's go back to your warrior two. We're coming all the way down with the hands grounded here. We're kicking off that back leg. Come up, rounded warrior three, and let's open to the right. Right arm goes up. Keep your left hip down. Lengthen through the back heel or the toes and stretch your fingertips up. Let's come all the way to stork. Ground that right leg. Inhale, left leg comes high. Knee lifts. We're going to go into an eagle pose. I'll put opposite arm, opposite leg. Right arm underneath your left. So cross your elbows. So stack the elbows and cross at the wrist. Your left knee crosses over your right. So you've got eagle legs and sink your hips down. You've got a twist in the legs and a twist in the arms. Sink your hips low. Pull the elbows down for now. Now lift those elbows up high, suck the belly in, and humble elbows over knees and round your spine forward. Stay here, release your arms, ground the hands, left leg stretches back. Now we're opening to the left, half moon. Stretch those fingertips up. Belly stays in. Stack the hips. And let's bring toes and heels touch. Bend your knees. Inhale, chair. Sink your hips low. We have three. And fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Exhale, fold. Weight in your heels. Inhale, arms up. So remember at the beginning, we did heels and toes, weight, weight in your heels, belly in, chest lifts, exhale, fold. So weight in your toes a little as you lift halfway flat back, exhale, fold, weight in the heels, inhale, last chair. Pubic bone forward towards the knees, stretch the spine up, 
Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, let's plant the palms. Left leg steps back, we're on, right leg steps back, we're on the other side. Inhale, arms up. High lunge. And we're tapping that right knee. Make sure your back leg is solid. We go down for one. We've got five, two, three, four, and five. Come up, hold it. Palms together, hands to heart center. And let's twist left. Elbow outside of the knee. Press the palms in, belly in. Lengthen through the crown of your head as you twist. Create space in the spine before you twist it. Look to the ceiling. And back to center. Let's open warrior two. Left knees in front. Sink low. Pulling the hips forward. Keeping the hips open as you can. And let's reverse the warrior again. Slide the back hand or wrap. Left fingertips go around, go over you. Stretch the wall behind you. Sink low, hips forward. Left shoulder rounds back. Back to your warrior two. We're coming all the way down. Kick off that back leg, ground your hands. So we're opening left. Right hand stays down. And we open. Either point that back toe or flex your foot. Keep your right hip down, fingertips up. From here, we're coming into short. Both arms up, right knee comes with it. Arms up. Now again, we go eagle, but opposite twist here. Our left arm underneath right. Right, stack your elbows, twist your wrist. Pull the elbows down. Now we're twisting right leg over left. Sink your hips low. Hips back. Again, weight in the heels. Keep your chest up. Let's pull those elbows down. Now elbows lift up, belly in, and humble forward over your knees. Hold here with breath. Keep the belly in. We're unbinding the arms. Uh, let go of that twist. Your right leg's coming behind you. Left hand grounds now. We're opening half moon. Keep the belly in. Stack your right hip over your left. Right arm stretches up. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Toes and heels touch, meet at the top. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Go through your vinyasa, hop, step, back through your chaturanga, up dog, and let's meet in down dog. Nice, we're gonna keep moving forward. Right leg stretches up and back. Let's bend that knee and open right. Relaxing that right heel behind you. Let the hip open. Enjoy that stretch. Maybe left heel comes down more to the mat. Stretch all through the back of your left leg. We're gonna come back to center and just bring your right foot back down. Left leg stretches up and back, lengthen. Taking some time here for breath. Bend the knee, heel falls behind you, and open left. So really enjoy this stretch through the left hip, all the way down the right side, back of the right leg, even to the arch of the foot. Pressing the heel down more, opening the knee more. Come back to center, both feet come down. Look forward. We're walking all the way to the top of the mat. Bend your knees, toes and heels touch. Inhale, chair. Weight in your heels. Lift your chest. Keep it going forward. Bend the knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. A little weight to the toes. Exhale, fold. Weight in the heels. Inhale, arms up, chair. We have three. This is two. 
Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, inhale, arms up, last chair. Bend the knees, exhale, fold, inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, inhale, arms all the way back up, meet at the top, stretch up, flip, keep the bone forward. Hands together into heart center, breathe. We're at the top, we're going through. Inhale, arms all the way back up. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, plant your palms. Right, left foot steps back, high lunge. Inhale, arms up, crescent. So make sure you're high on those back toes. Left thigh is super contracted. We're tapping for five, and down one. And two. Tap three. Tap four. Tap five, hold it, then more to that right knee, palms together, hands to heart center, let's twist left, uh, twist right, left elbow to knee. Belly in, high more on those back toes. So this is gonna create more of a twist, so press the heel forward, have more high on the toes, make sure that that left thigh is contracted. Bring your left hip a little more forward as you twist, and open right. We're going to our warrior, uh, back to center, and open warrior two. Sink deep, let's reverse the warrior again. Wrap around, slide down, opening more hips, and shoulder back. Back to your warrior two. Rounding all the way down, let's ground, kick off the back foot, the left hand stays to the floor, we open right. We're coming all the way to stork. Left leg comes up. Right elbow under left, twist those arms and twist the legs. Left over right, sink down. So even here, belly in, pubic bone a little bit towards the knees as that allows length through the back of your spine. Sink lower, elbows lift up, let's humble round down. Hold it here, pull that belly in. Let's untwist the arms, both hands to the floor. Left leg stretches behind you, let's open half moon right. Now we're gonna add something here. So we're gonna lift, uh, bring the left arm and the left foot behind you. Create a bind here, grabbing that foot. You stay here if you would like, kicking into the hand. And let your left shoulder float behind you. Stay here. If you want to come up for balance, release your right arm off the floor and inhale, come up. So your inside of the foot or the outside really grips up to you. Chest lifts and arm stretches up. Let's release, step back into your high lunge, palms down, go through your vinyasa. Right leg steps back, exhale, chaturanga, up dog, we'll meet in down dog. Everybody's looking good. Left leg stretches back and up. Look forward, step forward, we're gonna lean into the high lunge, left side, inhale, arms up. We're gonna tap that right knee, make sure you're nice and solid, and down for one. We got five, and two, and three, down four, the last one, down five, lift up, make sure that right thigh is super solid, Palms together, hands to heart center, and let's twist left. Right elbow to knee. Make sure you're high on those back toes. That gets you more space. Really press that heel forward. Super high on those back toes. Belly in. 
right hip stays down as you twist, look left, up to the ceiling, back to center, and open warrior two. Left knees in front here. Sink those hips low. Chest stays lifted. Let's reverse the warrior. Again, slide or wrap. Back to your warrior two. We're coming all the way down and we're kicking off that back leg. Hands ground and we're opening left. Right hand stays down. So you've got revolve half moon. So you keep the right hip down on this one. So two hips in a line and left arm stretches up. We're coming to stork. Right knee comes up, both arms up. We're meeting at the top of the mat. We're standing on the left leg. Left arm under right. So stack left elbow under right, palms together. Pull the elbows down, right knee over left. Twist and sink low. So again here, again, weight in your heels. Pubic bone pulls a little forward. It gives you space in the low back and opens the hips. Pull the elbows down, chest up. Elbows up and humble over the knees as you round. Let's release the arms, ground the hands. Right leg stretches back and we open right half moon. So now we're opening more. So this time get stuck. Stretch the fingertips up and you can bring your gaze up. Now everybody can stay here. Anytime you just need to fold feet at the top of the mat, that's fine. Otherwise, let's grab the right foot behind us. Again, you can stay here. Everybody here for now. Let's create the twist and the kick. Still grounded with that left hand. And then when you're ready, you lift left arm up and come to your dancer. We're going to release this, come to our high lunge, and then both hands down, go through your vinyasa. All the way, slow chaturanga, up dog, and knee and down dog. Really nice, everybody. Let's leg right leg stretch up and back. Bend the heel, bend the um, foot flex it, bend the knee behind you, bring the heel behind you, we're opening right. So we're opening that right hip. Open more than you did before, pressing your left heel down as you're opening knee right. And come back, toes and heels touch. Left leg stretches up and back, same thing left side. Stretch the foot back. Let bend flex that foot and open left. So press your right heel into the floor as your left knee opens more. And both feet back down. Press the hips back, lengthen through your spine. Look forward, we're walking all the way to the top of your mat. And you guessed it, we're back at the top with those chairs. Bend your knees, sink your hips, inhale, arms up. So we're almost there, guys. We've got three of these chairs. Really sink low. I want you to feel some difference. Weight in your heels. Pull that pubic bone forward. It really stretches through your low back. You should feel that. Opening the hips. Stretch the crown of your head. Shoulders relax. Bend your knees. Exhale, fold. As you lift halfway, weight in the toes. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Just a little weight. Keep a bend in the knee. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Sink hips. Inhale, chair. This is two. Bend the knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Sink those hips, inhale, last chair. More weight in your heels, get lower. Pull the pubic bone forward. 
and fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, arms all the way up. Let's meet at the top, stretch forward, pelvic bone folds forward, straight fingertips up, palms together, hands to heart center. We're going through again. Inhale, arms all the way back up. Bend your knees, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms, left, left, step, steps back. Get your high lunge, inhale, arms up, crescent. Hold it here. This is our last time. All the way through, nice and slow. Let's tap for five, left leg down and tap. And up, down and tap. Let's go up, down, and up. I think this is four, you might get an extra. And down five, hold it here. Palms together, hands to heart center, and let's twist right elbow to knee. Make sure that left thigh is contracted. Again, more weight forward, higher on those back toes. Feel what that makes a difference for you. As your left hip stays down, belly in, stretch the crown of your head, and twist, palms press. Right palm into left, look up. Let's come back to center. Open warrior two. Right knees in front, seat low. Pull the pubic bone forward as your chest stays lifted. Make sure your right knee is open so the right knee is not tracking towards the left. You need it straight forward. Same direction as that middle toe, right in between in your feet. Let's reverse your warrior. So twist or slide. Hips forward. Back to your warrior two. Rounding all the way down. Kicking off that back leg. Round both hands. We open right. So again, this one, two hips side by side. Left hip stays down. Pull the belly in. Stretch the fingertips up. Look up. We're coming to stork. Left foot comes all the way high. Arms up. Cubic bone presses forward. And now right arm under left, stacking those elbows right on the bottom. And now bend your left knee, your right knee, twist your left leg around. Think those hips low. So I want you to bring some mind here to these, to your body, to your legs. Weight in your heels. Push your pubic bone forward and lift your chest. Keep your belly in. Elbows down. Let's lift elbows high and round forward. Humble over those knees. Feel the opening in the, uh, in the lower back and the upper back. Untwist those arms around your hands. Left leg stretches back. Now we're opening left, half moon. So whatever you did do before, if you stayed here with that right hand grounded, then just your half moon. Maybe you reach back and you just try to go for that left foot. If you want to grab it, go ahead and grab it. Try to open and lengthen first. Let the left shoulder flow back. And then when you're ready, in her right arm up and to your dancer. Keep your right arm stretched high. Left toes stretching up, twisting that right shoulder behind you. First release. We come back to our high lunge. Hold it here for this high lunge. Left thigh super contracted. Bring your left hand down and let's open right arm right. Stretch up. We're gonna bring both hands to the floor. Left knee comes down and sink your hips forward. Press that left hip forward. Your toes are in front of you, so you're still on both sides of that right foot. In a minute, we're going to open. So bring your right hand on the inside. Let's heel to the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Keep pressing the left hip forward as your chest stays high. Keep the chest lifted. We're not going forward yet. I want you to feel how things move in the body. 
when we don't rush it. So we're thinking about our pubic bone here. Press it forward towards the top of the mat as the left hip comes down towards the mat and chest up more. Feel what that does to the hips. Your right hip, your left hip flexor, pulling the pubic bone forward and in your low back. Keep chest up. We're gonna bring your left elbow down now. Keep your right elbow can come down, bring it down, but try to keep the things that we talked about just then with that left hip forward, keep it going forward. Keep all that the way it was when you're bringing the elbows down. Otherwise, stay high. Bring your hands into the floor. We're going to press up. We're going to go to pigeon. So right foot, heel toe it all the way over to the left side of your mat. So keeping both hips forward, just sink forward. If you need your right heel to come into the center line of your body, bring it in. Left hip stays down and chest up. So again, so just like you were doing before, you want to try to keep your left hip and your pubic going forward for just now. Try not to roll over to the right hip. Stay forward. And if you need the right heel to come in, go right ahead. Chest up. Keeping that left hip forward. Now if you want to come all the way down, start with your elbows. And then arms can stretch out in front of you. Try to keep the left hip forward. Really deep in that right hip. Let's walk the high hands back in. Palms on the floor, round your back toes. Let's go to a three point dog, right leg stretches up and back. Here, totally up to you if you just wanna come right into your down dog. Otherwise, let's go through vinyasa, three point chaturanga, inhale up dog, and down dog. Sink your hips, uh, stretch your hips up. Left leg stretches up and back. Look forward, step forward. High lunge, inhale, arms up. Now we're just on the other side. Make sure your back leg's nice and solid. High on those back toes, we're pulsing the knee down. Tapping for five, down one. Here's two. And three. Four. Here's five, hold it at the top, lengthen that spine, palms together, hands to heart center, let's twist left. Higher on those back toes, so shoot the heel forward. Keep your right hip down, stretch the crown of your head and look to the ceiling. Left palm presses into right and twist. Back to center, warrior two. Open up, left arm forward, left knee forward, sink low in those hips. Chest stays up. Make sure that that left knee is not pulling over to the right. Keep it straight. Let's reverse your warrior. Slide down the leg or twist the arm around the low back. Sink low in that knee. Back to warrior two. Let's go all the way down, ground the hands, kicking off the back foot. Revolve your half moon, right hand stays down, and left arm opens. Right hip down, look to the ceiling. From here we're coming to that stork. Right leg comes all the way up, arms up. Left arm under right, that left elbow first, right elbow on top, right leg now twist over left, wrap the foot, sink your hips. Okay, so feel it, weight in your heel, left heel, push your pubic bone forward, lengthens, create space in the low back, through your hips, pull the elbows down, chest up. 
Now elbows lift high, humble elbows over knees, round your spine. Feel the opening in your low back. So again, pubic bone a little forward, rounding the upper back, opening the upper back. Release your arms, hands down. Left, right leg stretches back, and now open half moon. The left hand stays grounded, right arm stretches up. Stacking those hips. With your left hand grounded, reach back and grab your right foot. Again, stay here. You can even meet at the top, toes and heels touch with the fold. Or open that right shoulder behind you. Create that stability first, and then let's lift up to your dancer left side. Left arm comes up. Keep your right arm stretching up. Left arm stretches up as your right arm, left, right leg kicks back and up. As we release, we're going into our high lunge. Left leg forward, arms up, and let's bring your right knee down. So both hands frame your left foot. Make sure your left foot stays forward first. Back foot flat on top. So keeping the right hip forward. Again, pulling the pubic bone forward and chest up. Now let's come on side of, inside of the left foot. Heel to the foot over to the left. Stay here with the hands grounded, chest up. So now we're deep in that right hip flexor and deep in the left hip. So we don't want to go anywhere yet. Push your pubic bone forward as your chest stays up. You'll feel more stretch in your right hip flexor and sink deeper in your left hip. A lot of times when we move too fast, we're getting down on the elbows, really pull pubic bone forward. And then let's come right elbow down. And again, if you lose anything as you do this, just stay high. Left elbow down. Keep that space all the way through the spine. Belly in. Bring your hands back up. We're going to heel to the foot over for pigeon. All the way to the right. Keep your right hip forward. Don't roll over to that left hip. Sink down. Your left heel can come into the center line more as your right hip stays forward, chest up. When you're ready, keeping the spine long, come forward elbows, or your arms can come out all the way in front. So we did lots of things with the hips low, our chairs, our lunges, and now we're really stretching this out through those hips. So you need to always continuously need to build strong glutes. That's what holds you up, right? As you walk, so you need those strong muscles. But as you build them and keep them strong, you also need to make sure you're stretching them out. Let's bring your palms back. We're going back into our three point with the left leg up. So round your back toes. Left leg stretches back and up, three point. And let's go through our vinyasa. Three point chaturanga all the way down. Up dog and down dog. Awesome, so just lengthen back. Let's come to our child's pose. Wide knees, big toes touch. Stretch forward through that spine, sink your hips. Relax there, breathe. Now 
Walk your hands back in. Let's come legs out in front. We're nearing the end here. Lie back on your back. Legs stretch out long. Pull the belly in. Reach your arms over your head. Pull the belly in. Smell of the back arches up. Chin the chest. Let's bring your right leg in, pull it into the shoulder. Chin to chest. Let's release your right leg, left leg brings it up. Hold over the knee and pull the knee in. Chin to your chest, pressing that low back down onto the mat as you pull the knee in. Release your left leg down. Again, big stretch, arms overhead. We're gonna to roll to one side and lift yourself to a seated position. Just take your time. Maybe you need to pause. Press yourself up. Such a fantastic day practicing with you guys. I love it, I'm so glad you're here. Sit up tall. We're going to take three deep inhales, bringing the arms over your head. So let's inhale, arms up. Stretch up, belly in, shoulders relax. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. One more, inhale, arms all the way up. Keep stretching through the fingertips. Bring your palms together, hands to heart center. Namaste. I'm so glad each and every one of you was here. Yay! Also, you guys have some claps. I love it, I love it. All right, I hope you enjoyed your practice. Yes, best thing that you can do for yourself is to do exactly what we're doing, yeah? So I'm so glad you're here. Be well, be safe. Thank Bye. you, Lindsay. That was great. Yay! Thank you so much. Have a great day.